Hey everyone, welcome back to that Indian animator. You know those animations where the camera shifts beautifully from one angle to the another, like a professional product shot moment? Well, what if I told you that you can do all of that inside of Blender? No extra scenes, no messy setups, just pure efficient camera switching using markers. Let me show you how I use this trick all the time for my own animations. So let's start simple. I already have my character and a project here. It could be a product, a prop, or even just a scene. Now let's add few cameras. Press Shift A camera. I'll place one camera here, one camera over here, a close up one and another one in the back. You can rename them if you want to but for the purpose of this tutorial let's just leave it there. Right now all the cameras exists in the one file. Alright so down here in the timeline move to frame number one. This will be our first shot. Press M to drop a marker. That's like telling Blender, hey, remember this frame. Now with that marker selected, press Ctrl B to bind this active camera to this marker. That's it. Now you have just told Blender, start the animation from this camera. Now let's switch things up. Let's say move to frame number 25 where I want the close up of the legs. There should be a second camera here. So again, let's press M, select our camera 2. Now this is our active camera. And if I press Ctrl B, uh, we have this camera in the timeline. And now if we go to frame number 50, if I select camera 3 and press Ctrl B, we have successfully binded three cameras to our timeline here. And now if I go to the first frame and if I scrub, you can see cameras are changing automatically. So if I play now, Blender is automatically switching from one camera to the other. Notice how the view changes exactly where we placed our camera and markers. And when you render the animation, Blender will automatically follow the camera sequence. So you don't have to stitch the shot in video editor later. It's clean, precise and super time saving. Now one important thing, always save new versions. And if you want to remove the marker, uh, you can just select it hit the x or delete button you can also animate the camera if you want uh let's let's say if i want to animate the camera number two you can just press i while selecting the camera as we know that our camera is uh, starting from frame number 25 so from 25 to 50 the animation will happen let's say i want to have the camera slightly over here so i'll just select all the keyframes press t and linear that way camera is constantly moving from one frame to another so this way you can also add that you know dynamic feeling to your shots so this is how you can switch between cameras in one blender file i use this workflow a lot in product animations and my short film here it helps me stay inside one file one environment without the chaos of managing multiple blender files so yeah that's how you can switch cameras in blender using markers it's such a small trick but once you get used to it you'll never go back if this helped leave a like uh, and if you're new here subscribe i'll see you in the next one where we make something awesome again bye